In this video, we're going to use First Canadian Shave, Bay Rum and Lime, and the usual suspect, the leaf, for head shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. And if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. As mentioned before, today we're going to use the leaf to do a head shave. And for the first time, we're going to be using First Canadian Shave, Bay Rum and Lime. Actually, this is the first time we've ever used a First Canadian uh, shave soap. So we're going to see how that goes. We're not going to use a, a pre-shave. We're working on, oh, you can see the little stubble there, or at least I hope you can. About 24 hours uh, growth there. So let's get to misting and get right into it. This soap is a bay rum uh, and lime, and I got it from uh, Marion the Barbarian, or Santa, as we, <laughs> as, as we like to call him, because he sends everybody all kinds of stuff. Just super helpful and generous guy. Anyway, um, I got a sample of this. The scent on this from the sample, and again, from the sample, is, is light. I would call it about a three, uh, maybe. But it did whip up a really nice quality uh, lather. Uh, this, According to the website, the cost is $22. I don't know if that's in Canadian or U.S., so we're not going to really evaluate it. But it's $22 for four ounces. So I don't know if that's Canadian or U.S. I assume Canadian, but I'm not sure. And uh, we're gonna continue just to whip this up a little bit. Let's get to misting. Um, they describe it, First Canadian, as a bouquet of bay rum, lime, and patchouli. So that it does smell nice. It's not a clovey bay rum. So if you're one of those people that's averse to clovey type bay rums, this is not it. And I'm hoping to have a, ver a good experience with this. First time I ever used a First Canadian uh, soap. So we're looking forward to it. And shout out to our Canadian brothers, Magic Mike, uh, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, Lyle, the Sask Shaver. I hope you guys are are watching. We give you a shout out and we will give, we'll do a full on dedication shave to our Canadian brothers when we get the MF soap. I'll show you the, a picture of that one because I am interested in that soap. That soap was recently banned in one of the Facebook groups because you know, they just wanted to keep it, um, Family friendly, friendly, and I definitely understand that. But I want to try that soap. It sounds like it has a great scent, and I certainly want to support my Canadian brothers, who I mentioned before, and I'm sure there are others uh, too. I know there's Aaron from up there in Canada, who's a supporter of the channel, and I have sent things before. So shout out to you, Aaron, and Randy, a first Canadian, who I really have never uh, talked too much. I did ask him when he might have some more of that. MF <laughs> soap. And again, I try to keep it family friendly here on the channel because I know um, some people watch with their, their kids and so on. Uh, but within the Facebook groups, you know, I don't I don't think using a soap like that is, is that big a deal. At least it's not for me. And so I will definitely use it and get my thoughts on it. Okay, let's get going with our leaf. I know a lot of you have been holding out for the leaf giveaway and the, the spotlight with the leaf. That is coming. Um, I just I've had trouble catching up with the the leaf guys. My schedule and their schedule just hasn't jived. But we will do that lit, the giveaway when we uh, when we do that artisan spotlight with the leaf. So it is going to happen. Um, maybe next week. I'm not sure. I hope that you all will look at that. I'm going to do a playlist. It's uh, artisan uh, spotlight. Artisan slash vendor. Actually, we, I should probably just call it traditional shaving spotlight because it's not going to be only um, artisans and vendors. Maybe I'll try to get some YouTubers or influencers, as some folks like to call them, and you know, just just spotlight various people and things. Uh, and again, there will be a playlist, and I will link that playlist below. So far, we've had we've done one. Uh, I did a piece on Sterling that was just my own, but I will have, um, by the time this airs, hopefully, a spotlight with Rod of Sterling up, and we're going to be doing a number of those, so please stay tuned. I think you'll find them interesting, or at least I hope so. So the quality of the soap so far is quite good. I don't know what the ingredients are because on the Bay Rum soap, there was no ingredients listed on the website. And since this was a sample, you know, I didn't have a tub or anything. So I don't really know what the ingredients are. It is tallow. I know that. 
Um, the ingredients are listed on some of the other soaps, but I don't know if he uses Randy, he uses the same ingredients in every single soap. So I, I wasn't gonna post the ingredients on this shave and potentially be wrong. I do have a bug bite on the back of my head there from camping, so if we open that up, it's no fault of the soap or the, or the leaf. It's just, um, I got a lot of bug bites during that uh, camping trip, which is natural. That's just part of the deal when you're out in the elements like that. Um, the soap smells nice. It's lightly scented, at least from the sample, but it's not a super heavy clovey bay rum, which I know a lot of people just aren't fans of that. And so I completely understand, but it's uh, plenty slick enough and it's doing well so far. And uh, I'm enjoying it. And so, wow, yeah, very nice. Plenty of slickness, no quality problems with First Canadian. And to be honest, I didn't expect any because I've heard Justin and Lyle uh, and Magic Mike talk about them. And I'll link uh, their channels below. Magic Mike doesn't have a a, um, a YouTube channel, but he is on Instagram. So I'll link his Instagram and I just dropped my leaf. <laughs> One thing about the leaf is on the handle, it can get slippery. Now, I realize some people who are shaving their faces may not have the water run down as much as you do when you're in, on the head or ladies shaving their legs. Uh, but for me, it can get a little slippery, and I will ask Leaf about if they plan any changes or if, if they would consider any different handle options. I just don't know, but we shall certainly ask them. Okay, so first pass. Really good, no complaints about this soap. Smells great, performed great, no bubbles, no troubles. So, very, very nice. The, the brush we're using, the Razor Rock 400, another Canadian. <laughs> Uh, company. All right, very nice. This brush was sent to me by Oy Vey Chapo. Some of you may know him by that name. Or Alexander. Very nice. Good quality stuff here. And I think Randy, a first Canadian, also restores straight razor. So I might have to reach out to him and ask him maybe about rescaling an old razor I have, or making some scales and so on. I don't know the full gambit of services that Randy offers, but maybe I'll, I'll ask Randy if he wants to be on the spotlight. Um, comment below if you're interested in seeing Randy from First Canadian on an, uh, on a spotlight. Because um, this this hobby, you know, as you know, is is world wide and so we want to we want to be talking to everybody we want, we want to be trying as many products as we can from from all over the world you've seen me use maddie lindholm's uh soap which was fantastic i'll be using the swedish witch soap soon so that should be interesting we try to support as many people you know as, as we can and randy is no exception to that and of course can, supporting our canadian brothers and sisters all right so so far, we're having a good run here. No problems at all. No bubbles, no troubles, as I like to say. And the the quality of this soap, I think, is uh, quite nice. I'm not detecting any issues. Again, I don't know the ingredients. And honestly, I think sometimes this is the preferred method um, is to try soap not knowing the aggressive, the, um, Ingredients. I think Alexa was talking to me there. <laughs> I heard I heard something going on back there anyway. So that's why I look startled for a minute. Like, who's in the house? <laughs> All right. Yeah, very nice. You definitely get a little of that bay rum. I definitely get a little of the lime. I don't pick up a ton of the patchouli, uh, which is good. Patchouli for me is just sort of a... It works best when it's just a complimentary note sort of in the background and not in the front, because it can come off, um, for me, rather funky. Uh, but in this soap, no problem. So, my experience from this soap, scent-wise is, at least from the sample, if you want a mildly scented bay rum, if you're averse to really strong scents, um, this might be a good one for you. Again, it's really hard to judge the, pow the, the strength of the scent 
off of a sample because you just don't know. And sometimes they smell much more potent uh, out of the tub. And also sometimes you'll find that when you're working away through some of the soaps, the scent might be stronger towards the bottom of the soap or towards the top than say the middle, or it could be, you know, sometimes that just happens the way the soaps come out. So out of the tub, this could easily be five, six, maybe even seven. Um, to my nose on this one, it's, it's rather, rather light from the sample, but that's why I keep mentioning sample is I think it's important to, to note when you're using a sample, because you just don't know if the scent strength is going to be really represented in the way it is from the tub. A lot of times it is, but I have a, I have encountered situations where a sample wasn't a good representation. So, uh, again, I would call this one to my nose from the sample about a three to three and a half, maybe. So light, I would call it lightly scented for sure. All right. But I tell you what, though quality of the soap here. I just felt that bump back there. I hope I didn't open it up, but I certainly felt it. So I might have, you never can tell. Sometimes I can't see it uh, on the camera. All right. Nice. I know a lot of people are, um, lately have been doing videos where they've been shaving from their phones. And I always do. The mirror sets pretty far back. And so I just use the screen on my phone. So mostly what I'm doing is keeping myself in the frame. I actually can't see it that well. I could see it, but it's not like it would be if you're standing in front of a um, very large mirror, which gives you a lot more, uh, a, a much better picture. I like to shave the neck there. One thing I wanna mention is guys, if you're a head shaver, do not miss the neck. Make sure you're actually hitting that neck and getting that cleaned up while you're shaving your head. Because I have seen a few guys who have, like you can see when they're shaving their hair, they've got a bunch of, shaving their head, they've got a bunch of hair on the neck back there, like right around back in that area. So go ahead and make sure you're tightening that up as well. There's no reason not to. If you're going to shave the dome, you might as well get everything. Okay, let's put a little bit of this lather in our hand like so and just feel around for some additional spots. Now I know I've seen, um, I've seen people refer to this as lather mittens. I think Rich and Tim Delaney, but I wanna mention that Nick Shaves uh, was using this process long, long um, ago. And I used to put the lather in my hands and clap it and make the lather go all over the place like six years ago. And one of the viewers actually used that term lather mittens um, back then. So that term has been around for a long time, uh, lather mittens. They used to make fun of me because I would lather my entire face. Like a lot of the stuff that you see now that's done in the groups, which is guys having fun with uh, lather and lathering their face in crazy ways, we used to do um, six, seven years ago. And so I'm, I'm real, personally, I, I find it enjoyable when some of the newer people um, are just discovering some of the things we've done before and sort of resurrecting some of those goofy things, you know, lather mittens being one of them. Um, but that term has existed for a long, long time. So it didn't start just with Rich or um, uh, Tim Delaney. But I'm glad that they use it. I think Rich might have been doing it a long time himself. And so... It doesn't really matter who did what first, um, if it's fun to do and if you enjoy it. <laughs> you know, that's the way I look at it. All right. I'm just trying to clean everything up and get baby butt smooth. Get these little nooks and crannies. I tell you what, folks, the head is just, all you guys who are head shavers, comment below if you're a head shaver, please. Um, if you've never shaved your head, I think you, you don't have an appreciation for how difficult it is to get some of these areas. There are folds and crevices and, and imperfections you have on your head. And it's, it's really, for my 
from my perspective, quite a bit more difficult than shaving my face. Even when I shaved my entire face, including the stash and chin area, I've cut myself on the head far more than I ever cut myself on the stash or chin area. In fact, I don't think I ever really cut myself on the stash or chin area ever in the years that I was shaving it. Okay, that was an outstanding shave. We're not gonna do a post today just in the interest of keeping the video a little shorter, but let's do a quick review. First Canadian, this is Bay Rum and Lime. The quality was quite nice, so I will definitely be trying more uh, First Canadian products uh, in the future, including that MF <laughs> when he has more of it. So Randy, if you watch this video, when you have that MF, let me know. I will buy it and I will do a tribute shave to my Canadian brothers, Justin the Red Island Shaver, Lyle the Sask Shaver, Magic Mike, also Aaron for you as well, my friend. Um, the leaf, I mean, the leaf is just money for me. It, it works well all the time. It is my preferred head shaver. I want to thank everybody for joining, joining us. Excuse me, tongue twisted there. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.